Hey, it's Spade here, a.k.a. Farmer John. Flannel shirt in summer, great idea. I'm going to review E.T., the extraterrestrial. The extraterrestrial. The extraterrestrial. <laughs> How many R's are we going to go with? So E.T. is a little twerp uh, alien that lands in America. It leaves a spaceship, and Gertie, who's five years old, played by Drew Barrymore, and Elliot, this other little kid, find it. It's all you need to know. So E.T.'s here and Gertie goes up and hugs and they think it's great and E.T.'s all cute. But first of all, you have to treat it like it's a monster. E.T., for real, like it's not a joke. Don't hug it and get corona and space diseases. You poke it with a rake because they live in like a yard, a big yard, like a farm. Hit it with a rake and then knock it down a few times. Let them know who the fuck is boss. You know what I mean? Like, deesh, deesh. Let them know who runs the show immediately. He's smothered in fucking... Um, Crow's feet. He's actually made of crow's feet, which you've never seen before. <laughs> E.T., it just shows like if you're one of the housewives that's interested in space travel or Elon Musk, everyone wants to go to Mars. Mars is a shithole. It's a bigger dump than the moon. I don't know why everyone's obsessed with it. But if you go there, space is very drying. Look at E.T. if you're worried about it. I don't like to go to Irvine with my windows down. It just really takes the moisture and that's what you want. And E.T. looks like fuck pie. I'm really harping on these wrinkles, and I'm just saying that I'm not making fun of E.T. It's just we're a youth-driven society, and if he wants to come here, he's got to realize it's not as sexy when you have so many wrinkles, you can light a match off his face. <laughs> Before you bring E.T. out in public, maybe roll it around in fucking Nivea or something. I mean, cheap shit. Not La Mer. There's no La Mer around that Wyoming ranch house. I'll meet you in the middle with coconut oil. <laughs> Spackling some aqua for That's cheap shit. <laughs> Go! And then they bring him in the house, and he doesn't barely talk. When he gets here, he's like, hey, phone home. It's all he says, phone home. He thinks he's a prisoner, obviously. Phone him, I get one call. Also, they use to get him out of the bushes. You remember this part? Reese's Pieces. Why? M&M's turned them down. If you're the marketing guy for M&M's, this is your biggest fuck up in history. They call the marketing guy, he goes, ah, and they go, you sure? It's a Spielberg movie. He goes, Ah, and then later, it's a monster hit, makes trillions of dollars, and he's at an airport grousing. They're like, are you the guy that didn't give the M&Ms? And he's like, it was a different time. First of all, I skimmed the script. When I read it, E.T. E. was a killing machine. I think they did some tweaks to it. They go, yeah, they did a lot of tweaks to it. He's a great guy now. And he wasn't played by Clooney. They hadn't cast E.T. yet. So he didn't know. In his defense, he did not know what was going on. And then Reese's Pieces went through the roof. This guy got shit canned. So then, I lost my place. They dress up E.T. And E.T.'s hard to dress. He's built like a kettlebell. He's like bottom heavy, kind of fat. He's cute. He's definitely more personality driven. He does not look great. The way we think people look great. Like how I look great or other people look great. These are other people's words. I'm uh, 10 out of 10. But E.T. is a little fat fuck like me. He's very weak, you can tell. But they dress him up like Harry Styles. They put like scarves on him and stuff way ahead of their time. And E.T.'s like, don't treat me like I'm a goddamn fool. Dressing up like a fucking clown. Am I a clown to you? I, it came out, I was probably like in second grade. I ran around school calling it the extra testicle. You wouldn't believe how fucking hard that killed. I mean, you should believe it. It was killing so hard. It was like a professional joke. I, it would kill no matter where I went. I went to the bus stop, it killed. I went to kickball, it killed. I went to the lunch place to crush. I get applause breaks at lunch. And then I wanted to go to other schools because I'm running out of places to kill. People are like, did you go pro? Did you go pro? Because that's not like a joke for kids. And I'm like, no. And I should have known the future. I was a fucking crusher. Single-handedly, you can use it. Kids whispering at recess going, I think he stole that from Robin Williams. And I'm like, but that's like the level. Extra testicle. Pretty close to terrestrial. Terrestrial. <laughs> The thing about E.T. is another problem was it wasn't a cute doll. That's how it talks. You push a button. Bone down or whatever. It says phone home. Ouch. Uh, I don't need a doll with a tracheotomy. Overall, I give it eight crow's feet. Out <laughs> no, E.T. was good. It wasn't Air Bud. If I'm going to do a movie with an animal, I'd pick Air Bud. That's all. <laughs>